Hello my dear students and welcome to Inge 219 comparison between drama and prose. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to define drama and prose, compare between drama and prose. Let's start. So what is a drama? We'll read it together now, then we will find out. A drama, what is it? It is a composition in prose or verse, presenting in dialogue or pantomime a story involving conflict co or contrast of character. One intended to be acted on the stage, we call it a play. The art of composing, writing, acting, or producing a plays, a literary composition intended to portray life or character or enact a story, usually involving conflicts and emotions exhibited through action and dialogue designed for theoretical performance. So, what's the drama? Drama is usually involved conflicts and emotion exhibited through what action and dialogue and what is the the uh, what is the the uh, the goal or what is the role of such uh, conflicts and uh, dialogues is to be what is to be acted in a theoretical performance now prose what is a prose it is the ordinary form of a spoken or written language without metrical structure as distinguished from poetry or verse, a story or book that is not a play or poem. So the prose is just following an ordinary form and the, uh, and, uh, the ordinary form and we can find it in a spoken or a written language. Now the elements of a drama. Let us see what are the elements of a drama. Let us find out. We have first the literary elements. I will read for you first the literary elements, then we will move to the other elements. Well, what are the literary elements? First, a character, story organization. What is story organi organization? Story organi organization has beginning, middle, and end. So this is the major story organization. Then we have setting dialogue, monologue and finally the conflict. So these are the literary elements of drama. How about the technical elements of a drama? The, techni the technical elements of drama can be for example the sensory, the costumes, props, sound and music, lighting and makeup. Now performance. So a performance is the third element of a drama. Let us consider the major elements of the performance. First, acting, then speaking, and finally, non-verbal expressions. So what is the acting? Acting is how speaking, moving, help to create the characters. And speaking, vocal expressions, projections, speaking style, and dictions. All of them are considered uh, under the speaking. And nonverbal expression, gestures, facial expression, and movements. Okay, so far so good. You understand them? Now, how about the elements of a prose? What are the elements of prose? Number one, theme. What is the theme? Theme is the the general idea of the story. The general idea, the main idea of the story, we call it a theme. Second, setting. Setting is the information of where the story occurs, the place. The setting refers to the place of the story and the time of the story. So both time and place are what the setting. Three, the plot. The plot is the sequence of events. The sequence of events, we call it the plot. Four, the point of view. And five, the character and characterization. Six symbols. 
and seven atmosphere. So these are the seven elements of the prose. Any prose, uh, and any prose we might find the theme, setting, plot, point of view, character, symbols, and atmosphere. Now, what are the major differences between prose and drama stories? Let us see. Prose is made up of sentences and paragraphs without any metrical or rhyming structure. On the other hand, drama is a piece of writing that tells us a story. It is performed on a stage and uses dialogue. So the, the difference is so clear. Let us see. As you see, the main difference between the prose and the drama is what? The prose is not intended to be acted. On the other hand, drama is intended to be acted. And also, the drama depends on the performance and the technical elements. What are the major differences between prose and drama? First, prose is made up of sentences and paragraphs without any metrical or rhyming structure. On the other hand, drama is a piece of writing that tells a story. It is performed on a stage and uses dialogue. So from this definition, you can understand what are the main differences between drama and prose. Very good. Prose not intended to be acted. On the other hand, drama intended to be acted and depend on performance and technical elements. How about the things that are similar between prose and drama? Both of them are pieces of writing and have literary elements. So these are the major similarities between drama and prose. I hope my dear students you understand what you understand the major differences and the similarities. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.